Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Joe is uh, starting us off on a cutscene. It's impressive what? that you've reached here, but unfortunately your little adventure ends with... Oh, Joe does not want to play the story of this game in an offensive level. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's killing me. Uh, oh, Cloud Kill. Oh, nice. Dude, that thing looks gonna... straight out of Jim Henson. Oh, it looks like a Skeksis, yeah. Well, like a, well, it looks like, well, not the merge form, but what you would expect the merge form to look like instead of the ridiculous thing that happened at the end of the movie. Oh. <laughs> but, I mean, the end form was amazing. I love that movie. I haven't played The Warrior of Faith yet. Oh, what am I doing? Ah. Uh... Bow down to my warrior paladin priest man shield. Whoa. Dude, you just fart I have some... Uh, so funny. Fart humor is, is a is a dark scene in America. A delicacy. I mean, you know, there's all kinds of fart humor, and you can have like subpar fart humor. But Spellcasters are ridiculous. You can just sit there and just and cast, be ridiculous. And cast and cast. I'm gonna be him again. And meanwhile, your spell does nothing. Oh, I'm raging. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah. I'm like super powerful. So oh, you shit. have to do it near a person, I guess, in order for that to actually mean anything. Let's let's jam this guy up. Ugh. We're, oh, I'm getting jammed up. We're getting jammed up pretty hard. Um, I can't get out of there. Oh, that's the thing I just use. Why is... I'm pretty sure that spell says invisible, and it creates, like, a massive, like... Like, exploding, light like, light, yeah, like... Yeah. You can't see me in all this light! Yeah, right? Okay. Ugh. It's tireless warrior. The names of these classes are pretty great. Oh, am I out of invisibles? No. Invisible! I get the feeling we're about to fight three different bosses. It, it does seem like that, like we're gonna unlock the next one and the next one. Man, this guy is ass. Yeah, it's like Dr. Doom Skeletor hybrid. Can you just use all your magic, please? Well, I was trying to. Dude, I'm getting wrecked! <laughs> I, I don't like this game. <laughs> what? It's... You lame pants. I'm having so much trouble understanding anything that's happening. Maybe if you were... What, what's, what am I doing? <laughs> Can you get him in your zone? He's not... Ugh. You're invisible now. <laughs> you just gotta believe. Yeah, right. If you don't believe, you're not gonna be invisible. Is this hurting him? Okay, so it is. I didn't realize he was a lich. That makes sense. Dude, we should be using like, some does. kind of light magic. We need to destroy his phylactery, first of all. Why are you a cleric? That? You were a cleric, and you didn't even kill well, him. Well, I'm trying to bow him. Alright, this will take care of him. Good work. And now we have the other two, or no? Do they we just free die them? immediately. Well, they might be freed. They look evil. Well, can't judge a book by its be beak. Defeated the lich, dude. You can't judge a beak by its cover. That's... I believe I have underestimated you. Okay. Nice story. Now let's oh, we're just going do time. some things where I completely incapacitate you. Super awesome. Oh, the I... dude in the cloud and like the, the he's the facing out. They're all facing come out. In. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Sweet. That's part of the game. And then we go silent while we pick our names because it's super intense. It's intense. This requires a lot of thought. I'm 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 what three? Joe. <laughs> Pelvi. Uh, it's called Pelvi. That's my name. Pelvi has reached level sixteen. HP Why do you have to name them um, every time, though? What? Three? <laughs> that's like a little Wayne album. <laughs> yeah, it does. What the three? Where is this place? Dude, that is some serious role-playing. My yeah. character's all, like, confused. Yeah, um, and goblins again, because we, you know... Are we, are we just doing fun. the first level again? Are we? <laughs> is it like you have to go through the whole entire game again just to, like, get, get to the, the next ending? boss of that, of that fight? That'd be awesome. That would be the best. Can we quit? <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, we started this I series thought, to talk about Gen Con. I thought you Surely, said it was lame. tell me some more about Gen Con. Oh yeah, so there was this other guy at Gen Con. Um, and so again, I think I started that story even though I didn't really even finish it by saying like, I, I will always run into the weirdest people. Um, and and I, I didn't even realize that about myself until I started this series and I started talking about all the weird people I know. Um, but... At Gen Con, I played in a game, and I understand a lot of people probably haven't played in tabletop games for all the D&D oh, &D references. <laughs> that was interesting timing, Joe. Like, for all the D&D &D references, and you immediately reference D&D. &D. Well, that's what we're fighting. <laughs> I know, but, like, that's a very specific creature title. Yeah. Anyhow, 
Um, this place would be so cool. They're like panthers with tentacles, and they can teleport. I've always wanted a panther with tentacles. Yeah, me too. It'd be awesome. <laughs> um, so basically, though, if you've never played a tabletop role-playing game, there is a person who is sort of in charge of things. Usually, not always, but usually there's a person who's in charge of things, and they sort of set the tone and um, de declare rules and things like that. And then everyone else is a player and they kind of have to abide by those rules. Within reason, obviously. If someone's being a complete weirdo or something, you don't have to. You can get them walk away. But, generally speaking, everyone's there to have fun, so it works out. So, I go to play this game. Um, by the way, great game called Measure of a Badass. Um, it was being playtested by the DM, so it's not even, like, released yet. It's just a, a tabletop game he's working on. And uh, the whole premise is, like, you get to play as an action movie character. Um, God, I can't get away. <laughs> uh, and and follow action movie rules, right? So, like, he literally says, like, does it matter if it can happen in real life? No, because you're following action movie rules. This is cinema reality here. Mm -hmm. So, one of the first things we try to do in the game, after he says that, is take a helicopter, chase down a train, and, like, we're gonna swing on the train and jump off the helicopter out of the train. And everybody was like, oh yeah, that sounds awesome, that sounds cool. It was, it was actually another player's idea, and then I added to it, so it was, like, a cooperative idea. And then this old guy in the group says, no, no, you can't do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're like, why not? And he's like, well, you've got a problem. Like, I, I don't think we have a problem. And I looked at the DM, and I was like, do we have a problem? And he, like, shrugged. And uh, the guy's like, well, you do have a problem, because there's a little thing called physics. <laughs> oh game, my god. In a game that's specifically about, like, you know, just having fun with it and not worrying about those kinds of details. So he decides it's impossible. That's a lot of damage. And, and refuses to allow us to follow that plan. So we come up with a slightly different plan, because whatever, that guy's a butt. And then throughout the game, he continues to just, like, be the biggest jerk of a role player ever. Um, he starts saying things like, No, 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 that's not what you do. You do this. And then, like, narrating a, in his head, cooler thing. Uh, should we save the people of the village or pursue the sorceress? Let's go after the sorceress. Okay. <laughs> I normally, <laughs> normally I would be like, gotta save everyone. I think you have to vote, too. Or the timer has to run out. You voted the other way. <laughs> I hate you. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I'm not buying anything. I'm saving my money uh, for a house. Super healings. Saving money for a house. Yeah, no, but I, I totally know what kind of player you're talking yeah. about. That's... Ugh, ugh. Anyways, are we uh, looking forward to the next episode? Not yet. Whoa. Has it been seven minutes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's, that's, that's See, when I normally think episodes end. You know this is... Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, you know it's not a seven-minute show, right? <laughs> um, is it not? Because that's how I timed every episode that I timed. Right, yeah. I just went over on a lot of them. Yeah, like but that minutes, one so. you nailed. Yeah, I got that one right. That was like a pride and joy. <laughs> Dude, these goblins... What are the... Are they carrying bombs? Must be bombs. Must be bombs. You must be bombs. Must be bonkers. Um, yeah, so anyhow, he was just a complete dingus. The one thing he did that bothered me the most, to sort of wrap up the episode probably here pretty soon. So there was this one guy who was clearly, like, English was not his first Forte. language. Um, and so, you know, that can make role-playing very difficult. Trying to communicate to people is bad enough, let alone trying to communicate a specific, like, um cinematic concept when you're trying to describe actions and whatnot. But he was trying. He was doing a fine job in spite of his, you know, like, uh, handicap on it. I don't want to say handicap like a mental handicap. That sounds wrong. <laughs> um, sure, no. I you know what I mean. I meant handicap like, like as you would say in, like, golf. <laughs> like, he had a disadvantage to the group, to communicating with the group. Um, what did you just do to me? Uh, I, I, I made you powerful. Thanks. No, I don't know what I did, man. <laughs> you just fart on me. Even the sound effect that goes with that. <laughs> That's like a Metroid sound effect. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so the guy was having some trouble, and one of the things you can do in this game, which is the thing I love about the system, actually, is they have badass points. You can, as any player, can say, 
that was super cool. You deserve a badass point. And then all the other players have to vote on it. And it's a majority rules votes thing um, if you give the point or not. And uh, and then if you have a badass point, it basically gives you a bonus on things. It's not it's not over powerful or whatever. It's just cool. Uh, you have a problem here, Nick. Well, there's a little thing called metaphysics. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of what happened. Um, it, not so bad. He didn't say metaphysics or anything like that. But uh, he, <laughs> we tried to give the the guy who was having some trouble a badass point, and he's like, mm, no, no, you're not giving me enough description. First of all, everyone else has already voted yes, so it didn't even matter. <laughs> like, he was already outvoted, but he tells this guy he's not giving him enough description, and as a result, that guy can't have his badass point unless he gives him something else. And then he's like, oh my goodness. he's like, um, you're gonna have to just just say like say a one-liner, say something funny, and that'll that'll make it work for me. And the guy like stammered and, and struggled. He was trying, but he, he couldn't get out a funny thing. And um, I was like, dude, it's cool. Like, how difficult is it to like have someone point at you and say say something funny and come up with something? That's that's ridiculous. Did you, you say that? Yeah, I did. Oh, I totally stood up for this guy. I was already mad at the other person anyway, so I, I totally stood up for this guy. Um, and uh, <laughs> I was like, it's it's not a problem. Don't don't worry about it. You got your point. And um, <laughs> he's like. It's not impossible to say something funny if someone tells you to say something funny. So I just turned to him and with like the coldest stare I could give him and the like as deep and mean voice I could, I was like, say something funny. <laughs> and he just like got wide eyed and then he stuck his tongue out at me and shut up. Clever. <laughs> yeah, right. Clever. Like He said nothing. That's such a good joke. I... See, that's the perfect response. He <laughs> pwned you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, we'll pick up here next time on Instant Replay Live. Hey Joe, say something funny. <laughs> Joe sticking his tongue out. On... <laughs> uh... <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.